Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, it's Yolanda. So I am here on the last day of February on my 51st birthday sharing my smiley story. So I hope you enjoy it. All right, so hashtag smiley, S-M-Y-L-Y, -Y, stands for sewing makes you love yourself. And it was a challenge created by three um, sewists. Uh, they have blogs, they have Instagram, I will link them down below, I will link their YouTube channels. And basically what you, uh, the challenge is to talk about sewing and how it has either affected you when it comes to body positivity or how it has affected you in mental health. How it, you know, came in in the clutch and helped you. So I am going to share my menopause story and how sewing helped me. Um, yeah, so if you're like in your 20s and your 30s and you're like, eh, I don't need to hear that, I'm not even close to menopause, I suggest that you listen because it's going to happen one day and I would have never thought twice about menopause until I started going through it and then um, learned the hard way. So this is just my personal story. For some women, it's a breeze. They transition, they go through menopause, they have no problems, it's a breeze. For others, it's a living hell and some of us just fall right there in between where it's just enough just to make you feel like you're going cuckoo. And um, yeah, that's me. Okay, so back in 2014, um, I uh, had a hysterectomy. My menstrual cycles were horrible and my doctor had been suggesting a hysterectomy. So I had one. Uh, she left my ovaries so that I wouldn't instantly go into menopause. But unbeknownst to me, about three to four months later, I would start menopause. Started off slowly with the hot flashes, um, which are hard to, well, the best way I can describe it is it's like an oven from the inside out and you just heat up. There's no cooling you off. You just heat up. I get beads of sweat on the top of my arms, on my forearms. So after uh, hot flashes started, um, night sweats, insomnia, and um, I did a lot of research, I read, I googled, I would listen to, um, there's this one lady I found, she was a doctor, um, I watched her blog, she had videos, she talked about like the different things to eat, essential oils, exercise, all this stuff. So I just filled myself with information on how to survive this because I always felt like I was a pretty strong woman and I could handle stuff, but this was, this was really tough. And then comes anxiety and a little bit of depression. And that's where the mental health part comes in. So the anxiety just knocked me for a loop. I went from feeling like a pretty strong woman to feeling like a failure and weak and a little hopeless and helpless. And um, some days it would be really overwhelming. I remember my very first really bad anxiety attack. I was in Hobby Lobby with my family and I started getting a hot flash, and then I started having this really weird feeling, which I found out later was an anxiety attack. It felt like Hobby Lobby was shrinking in on me, and I looked at my husband with tears streaming down my face, and I'm like, I need to get out of here. And the kids were like, Mom, what's wrong? And it just left me feeling so defeated, like so defeated. Just like, how could I not handle this little menopause thing? How could I not get through it? And it really kicked my butt. So um, fast forward to now, or probably about a year ago when I picked up sewing again. You know, the menopause symptoms have like been like a roller coaster on and like up and down. Sometimes they're really bad, sometimes they're not. Sometimes I'm feeling great, I don't gotta worry about it. Um, yeah, but then about a year ago, I think it was when the Moneta party was, like everyone was doing YouTube videos because the Moneta dress pattern, um, they, people were making them and sharing them on Instagram and on you know YouTube and such. And I happened to watch a video and I really liked the dress and I bought the pattern and I started sewing again. And it just really got hooked in, hooked on YouTube, watching sewists on YouTube and on Instagram and I just fell in love with it all over again. And so um, that's when I really find that sewing helped me because it's all in the details. It's the tracing your pattern, it's the cutting it out, it's the washing your fabric and the, the preparation and the laying your fabric out and laying your pattern pieces down and putting your weights down on top and cutting and marking your notches and when you start to sew, just all that work that produces this beautiful dress or skirt or blouse and when you put it on, you feel so good. 
you feel so good about yourself. So it was in that time that I would come up here to my little corner and sew that I found relief without realizing at first, I found relief from the menopause symptoms. I would put on a podcast, I would um, listen to music and just get all caught up in this create creative time and it really helped me. And then sometimes I would purposely, you know, if I knew I had to walk away from, like if I was getting frustrated with the kids or having a particularly bad day, I knew I could come up here to my corner. And even if I didn't sew anything, if I could just be around my sewing stuff, I felt better. But that's how sewing helped me. And where I'm at now today um, with, you know, menopause, um, I am changing more and more what I eat so that I cut out sugar and caffeine and processed foods, which I don't eat a whole lot of, but just doing the you know, ultimate what I can do to improve my situation with menopause naturally. Um, I don't wanna go on any type of you know, hormone therapy. Um, I've chosen to do it as natural as I can. I'm getting acupuncture and um, I think this, you know, I'm on the uphill, uphill battle. So if you are suffering from menopause or you are suffering from anxiety or um, any of those symptoms, find a friend, find someone you can talk to, like reach out. Um, you're not alone. You're definitely not alone. Like so many women go through this and we hide it like it's a dirty little secret. That's what I found. Like people don't talk about it. You know, it's like, it's, it's not a shameful thing. I mean, you have to embrace the fact that you're getting older, your body's transitioning, you're, you're aging. And, you know, as long as I can, I'm able and I can get through things, I mean, I'm gonna keep on living my life to the best that I can. So anyhow, so that's how sewing helped me when it came to menopause and mental health. Now, my most meaningful make is a moneta that I created for a good friend of mine um, who lost no, no, she didn't lose. Who um, gave a brave fight for, to breast cancer and um, she passed. And at her celebration of life, the family asked that um, we not wear any dark colors, that we wear something celebratory and bright and we were gonna celebrate her day. So she loved Wonder Woman and I found a Wonder Woman knit at Joann's and I bought it and I made a Wonder Woman Moneta dress. It's actually filled with superhero girls. So this is it. I will insert a picture in the end of me wearing it, but without knowing, I put Wonder Woman right in the center, and when I'm wearing the dress, she's right between my boobs. <laughs> it came out perfect. But when I put this dress on, I felt so good. I was honoring her. Everybody there that day like loved it. They were like, oh my gosh, Julie would have loved it. And you know, and then and then I got to say I'm that I made it and I, I felt so empowered. I felt so good. I felt so strong and 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 good. I just felt good. Yeah. So this is my most meaningful make and sewing um has been a godsend. And um yeah. So, so I suggest you check out the other smiley stories. These brave women are sharing their very personal stories. They're opening up their hearts and they're telling us, you know, why or how sewing has helped them. So I suggest you just look up hashtag S-M-Y-L-Y and you'll find tons of great videos. So go on Instagram too with that hashtag. But anyhow, thanks for watching. And I will be back with um, my February makes. And um, this is one of them. I created this um, Linden t-shirt, Linden sweatshirt, excuse me. Um, it's a green line pattern. And um, yeah, I can't wait to share with you my February makes. And um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you haven't already, um, subscribe. And um, yeah, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.